Well, hello there, Jose Rodriguez back again. In this video, I'm going to explore and try to clarify, not only to those who have asked, but to myself, because I'm not sure exactly how the Canon Print plugin actually operates. How is it that it handles color management seemingly on its own? So, presumably, I always thought that if you simply turn off color management by turning off color matching in the actual print driver that then you would be able to use the PSP plugin and then tell it to use an ICC profile you know but it seems to be something different it seems to not really matter whether you turn off the color matching or you actually leave it in other words leave it as if you're letting the printer driver control color let's go ahead and explore that now at this moment I have it set to off and that is handle here and as you can see I have none but remember there's a new option in this driver and that is to actually be able to not only set it to none but actually just pick your profile and in this case we would be using the 1 slash 2 photo paper pro luster so basically I have not turned off color matching I'm actually letting the printer control color but the printer driver is actually using the correct ICC profile. All right, so let's go ahead and, and look into that further. What I did was I just printed a standard print. This is a standard print offered by OCP from Germany. This contains just about everything you need to test the printer out. So I went ahead and printed that one, basically turning off color matching in the printer driver and using the Canon Pro Luster 1 slash 2. This equates to quality. Relative colorimetric black point compensation and I hit print and I have printed that so now what I want to do is I want to compare two situations I want to compare using the Canon Print Studio Pro okay so now we are inside the Print Studio Pro interface and I have the Canon Pro 100 just like I did in the prior example through Photoshop luster paper letter size rear tray standard quality we'll set that to high so I can match it to my previous one so let's go ahead and close that up. I have that already set. I have my layout all set as well. Don't need to get into that. All right, so now let's go into color management. And remember, I have color matching off in my driver. So at this point, it knows that I chose Pro Luster Paper. So on the auto setting, it's going to automatically choose the ICC profile for quality one and two for Canon Luster Pro paper but I could also use it manually and I can search here throughout all of my ICC profiles and choose the Canon Pro 100 luster 1 slash 2 photo paper luster pro or pro luster okay so regardless of whether I let the plugin automatically choose it or whether I choose it manually that's actually the same thing it'll produce the same results it will let the printer print through the ICC profile of choice which in this case is Pro Luster so now we'll open up the driver and it should be set at the correct settings we'll set that to high have photo printing color intensity manual adjustment that means when that is checked this will open up and you set it to none okay so we will go ahead and print this photograph of all of this test images using the auto setting okay with the printer drivers color matching turned off so let's go ahead and hit that and we'll go ahead and print it all right once it loads I'll go ahead and set the next parameter where I'm going to actually tell the printer driver to indeed control color and I'm going to leave it on automatic and then I'm going to actually tell it over here to use the ICC profile for that particular paper but the beauty of the plugin is that it sort of helps people who are inexperienced in color management to achieve results equal to a color management workflow all right so now it's printing I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to finish printing so then I'm gonna go back to my driver and tell it to control color basically I'm just gonna hit preferences and I'm gonna turn that off that's it now the printer driver is going to assume that it is in charge of controlling color and we'll hit okay so now you would think that I would turn off color management over here like you would in Photoshop if you're working in Photoshop then you would choose to let the printer control color and not necessarily Photoshop because in most cases as far as we know we cannot allow both systems to control color but I'm going to go ahead and set it on auto we have the correct paper chosen I'm going to go ahead and print so 
print number one I did using the normal color manage workflow with the color matching turned off, Photoshop controlling color and using the ProLuster profile one slash two and I printed it, it was beautiful and now I'm going to print one with color matching turned off using the same automatic system here. Remember I chose the paper type here. So by using auto, the correct ICC profile will be applied in theory. We will test that and we will see. I could either do it on auto or I could use the, the actual ICC profile myself and we'll hit print. Okay, so what do we have? We have a set of three prints. Print number one was printed using color manage workflow through Photoshop. Color matching was turned off in the driver and Photoshop was allowed to handle color and was loaded with the correct matching paper profile. Print number two was printed using the PSP plugin with color matching off and allowing the auto setting to handle color management. The third print was printed with the printer driver controlling color but still using this workflow here on the plugin. This should override anything down at the driver level according to this, according to what I have heard. But we will see the results. I'm going to line up all three prints and see whether we see any differences. It's a little bit confusing. I'm going to go ahead and write this down on my actual description so you'll be able to at least follow a little bit closer than you know my rant here. All right, so I think we are done. And the next time I see you will be with the camera actually shooting the actual prints. So let's go ahead and close this off. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are at the end of our experiment. I have my three prints. I'm trying to get as even a lighting as possible from my LED illuminator. And you can pretty much see that the prints are pretty much the same. I'm looking not so much at everything else, but I'm looking at the black to white ramps for neutrality, for equal separation of the first and second step. They all have that. They all actually do have a complete range of tones. So... To reiterate, this is the one that I did with complete normal color management workflow. I let Photoshop control color and I turned off color matching in the driver. This one here has also color matching turned off in the driver. But now I'm using the Print Studio Pro plugin and letting it control color in the automatic mode. Basically, I just used the correct paper source or paper type and set it on auto and it presumably will then utilize the correct ICC profile which apparently it did because I see no difference between these two and the same thing here except in this case I actually let the driver control color and then use the PSP plugin to manage color in the auto mode so apparently what's happening here is that the PSP plugin literally takes over all functions of color management, regardless of what you have your driver set at. And that's what makes it kind of a foolproof method for those users who really don't have any experience with color management. It's pretty much a you know quick and dirty, or actually not quick and dirty, it actually works quite well. But it's almost a foolproof, some might say idiot proof, which is, you know, right down my alley method of printing. As you can see, the results are great on all three examples. Okay, that was an interesting experiment. I thank the person who asked me the question. And I was able to then devise this sort of experiment to show whether there was any difference between the three modes. And obviously, if there is a difference, it's very, very minor. Okay, so until the next time, if you like this video, please like it, please share, please subscribe. And until the next time, again, happy printing. Bye-bye.